Hey guys, so we're gonna talk about salting steaks today. Salt, why do we use it? It's one of the natural things out there that really brings flavor out in all your meats out there, all the proteins out there. But I, I especially like it on steak. There is kind of a madness to how you do it, why you do it, all that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna salt this thing down. We're gonna let it stand. It'll actually pull the salt in and get dry, and then you'll see it sweat it out. And then if you leave it long enough, it'll pull it back in. We're just using this sea salt here. I like a fine grain. I don't like a coarse, because you can overpower with, with coarse. Um, so I'm just gonna put a nice layer of this fine ground on here, like so. And I'm gonna go all the way around this thing Get it all the way around. Okay, so salt's dry. It's gonna dry up on this thing. It's gonna pull that down in and then it's gonna sweat. We'll show you that sweat here in a bit. And then it'll pull it back down over time. If you let these stand for like 24 hours in the fridge, it'll pull it back down and do that. Today, we're not gonna have the time to have it pull all the way down, but we're gonna show you what the sweat looks like. So we'll see you in a few minutes. So it's pretty well ready to go on if we wanna cook this guy at any time, or you can leave it stand longer. The longer you leave it stand, the more to pull it in, the better the salt will be on the profile when you get going. So that's how salt interacts with beef. When you do that, you're gonna put it on, it'll be on, it'll dry up as that stuff, as the enzymes work on the salt, it melts down, it's gonna sweat, that moisture is gonna come out. Once that moisture comes out, it's gonna draw that moisture back in. When we draw that moisture in, we want to do that. We want to let it stand longer than what we're going to today, only because it's lunch. I got a good friend over. He wants steak. So we're going to go ahead and cook this steak. Um, but for you guys at home, if you put them in, you leave them in there four or five hours and let that pull it in, you'll get a deeper profile on the salt. It'll be absolutely fabulous. We've got our coals burning down. We're just going to go ahead and open this guy up here. I'm gonna move some of these around. I'm gonna break them up so I get some more of those coals off because I want that heat right over these coals. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go straight on with that guy there. We're gonna let that sear out. As that sears out, that fat will render down. We'll get a nice hot cook over this. If we need some of those coals and some of that more heat, we'll pull it over. And we'll just go ahead and let this, this guy will take probably six to seven minutes, maybe a little bit more because it's thick. We'll just watch it and we'll show you. Okay, we're about done with this guy. We're getting good rebound. It's tightening up. You'll see it tighten up. But yet when you poke it in the middle, it goes and it rebounds back. If we pull that guy and we set him there, give him a little bit. This guy here is a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna flip him over. I'm losing some of my coal mass and my heat over time. So I'm gonna slide a bunch of stuff in. I'm gonna move that heat up, open it up. Now we'll get a good sear on that guy. All right, we're off. We've let this steak stand for about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this. As you can see it coming off, we've got that nice rare profile. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got good moisture. Look at the moisture retention when I push on that. It's just bleeding out. This is what you're looking for in a rare steak. This isn't what we call blue, where it's cold in the middle, it's rare. We've let that heat run through it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that. We'll take one of these choice pieces in the middle. We'll cut that, we'll give that a try, and salt, beef, nothing better on the barbecue. Perfect smoke. We hope you liked this. If you like it, hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Give us a comment, and happy grilling.